Here's a quick guide on how to film live music performances. A few months back we filmed Moira Open Mic at Utrecht. And this is how we made it possible. First, if you have a chance, scout the location. You want to make sure there's enough light so it's not too dark. And check the space for maneuvering and capturing the angles that you need. See whether you can walk around or if you have to remain stationary. For this show we opted to go for four angles. What's important to note is that when you're recording a live performance, there are no repeats, so you gotta make sure that you have as many backups as possible. So for our first angle, we went for a long wide shot with a camera from upstairs to capture the overall atmosphere. A medium shot to capture a more up-close shot of the performers. A second cameraman was working close-up angles, capturing the b-roll footage, detailed shots, additional footage of the audience, venue, things we can add on top as extra flavor. We also had a backup shot and placed a GoPro 7 just behind the stage and the piano. This gave a nice frontal view of the audience as well as the piano performances. Heading over to post, you can edit your multi-camera angles in two ways. One would be to manually sync your clips using audio. Make sure your clips are in different tracks, select them, right click, synchronize and voila. But there is a better way to do this by toggling the multi-camera view. To enable this, you actually have to group together all your angles in a single bin, create a multi-camera source sequence, toggle to the multi-camera view, press play, watch all the angles at once, and decide which ones you want to keep. Either clicking on the different angles or hitting 1, 2, 3, and 4. What this does is automatically edit your selections in the timeline, which could be fine-tuned later by using the rolling edit tool or pressing N. But that's not all. Audio is just as important as capturing the video. Luckily for us, we had a live audio engineer on site who helped mix and balance all the different audio sources. Recording, however, is another beast. To support our footage, we set up a handy audio recorder, captured the line out from the mixer, and recorded the ambient sound. For this, we used the Zoom H8 hand recorder. So it really makes sense to invest in something like this. But if you don't have the budget, you can always try out and rent some gear. Head over to sites like gearbooker.com. I have my audio recorder and lights available for rent at the moment. And the first 10 renters get a 10 euro discount. If we had only used the raw camera audio, this is how it would sound like. A better shotgun mic. The mixer out. And the ambient room sound. We chose to use the mixer out together with the ambient sound faded in slightly. Then we fix it in the mix with a bit of noise removal, EQing and limiting. Again, a story for another episode. And boom! Basically what I'm trying to say is that preparation makes perfect. With all the right angles and adequate audio recording, this is how the end result looks. And if all fails, remember to break some rules.